In the next two minutes, we're gonna buy all the gear needed to turn this basic gaming setup into a great streaming setup for under $100. This microphone is the Fifan K669B. It's one of the most reviewed ones on Amazon. It also has a rating of four and a half out of five and I've used it in a lot of videos. I'm gonna add it to my car because I'm not sure if I will find it in my storage. There's another mic from Fifan, the Ampli game, and it comes in a normal version and then with a microphone arm. We're gonna buy a cheap mic arm later. So we're gonna choose the normal one. This has 4.6 stars out of five but that doesn't really matter because i tested it in a previous video so we're going to add this to the cards. Now, for the webcam, a hugely popular one is the Emi C960. Again, huge amount of reviews. Finding good video lights for a low price is not easy because usually LED panels are pretty expensive. I was looking to my left here because this is the size of a great LED panel. It's pretty comparable to the Elgato key lights, for example. So what I chose is this pack of two newer lights. It's $36, but you can get a coupon for 10% off. Now there are two more items we're gonna buy. One will be a microphone arm. Now these two things will get us over the budget of $100 and the reason I'm adding them is that if you will use your phone as webcam that will free up the budget for these two items and they will vastly improve your experience while streaming. So the microphone arm, this is to get the microphone from here on your desk which is far away from your mouth, much closer which will make it sound much more warm and full. Then the other gadget is a numpad and what it is used for is to use as a budget stream deck. So it costs around $10, $12 and I will show you software to turn the numpad into a macro device that won't interfere with your keyboard, you will have an 18 key macro device to switch your scenes in OBS, to mute your microphone, to add shortcuts to programs you always use during the stream. So that will be really exciting. I will see you when we build this setup. I have all the gear we ordered and some more and we're going to install all of them after this sponsor segment. By the way, there's a giveaway at the end of the sponsor segment. Sizzle.gg is a website that automatically creates highlights of your YouTube streams, your Twitch streams and your local gameplay videos. It's actually a really impressive service and there's no software required and it's available for the most popular games. It will automatically take all the best moments of your gameplay and then put them all together for a compilation that you can share on your social media, which means that it's an awesome tool to effortlessly increase your reach. You just do a long three hour stream or you record yourself and then Sizzle will automatically create a few compilations with all the most impressive moments. Now to celebrate their community, they are hosting a free to enter giveaway. Two people will win $25 that's directly sent to them on PayPal. All you have to do is click the sizzle.gg website link on top of the description, create a free sizzle.gg account and then link your Twitch or YouTube. Sizzle.gg offers a really interesting service and I would definitely advise you to check it out. All right, now behind me you see what is in my opinion the perfect $1,000 gaming setup. We're gonna be installing and comparing all the streaming gear. Now, if you're interested in the gaming setup part, one of my next videos is gonna be a complete overview of that setup. Now, for the webcam, we got the Emi C960 and you're gonna see it in a minute, but this webcam has a really wide field of view. I'm gonna connect the USB be to the back of the PC and usually I really like a wide field of view for streaming because basically what it does is it makes the room behind you feel much bigger. Now this webcam is 1080p and it also has two microphones. The webcam has two holes on the top so I wonder if these are the two mics. They probably are. There's another hole on the back but I assume that's not a microphone. They say the microphone has automatic noise reduction so we're gonna test the mic of this webcam. I hope it's gonna work with Windows 11. So let's add it to OBS Studio. I'm gonna call it eMeet C960 and there we go it's there already as you can see very wide doesn't look bad I'm gonna click on okay for now but here's a tip when you're adding a webcam so as you see it's very small now don't enlarge it like this because as you see it's very pixelated if we take a look at the settings at the video settings it's set to 1080p and when I added the webcam it looked like this so that means that it's like 360p so it's not set up correctly you double click the webcam and where you see resolution you just change it to custom and now you can choose your resolution so you click the drop down and on the box it says 1080p so that's what we're gonna choose right here there we go it's bigger now i'm gonna make it full screen and as you can see you can definitely see the artifacts of a cheaper webcam but you gotta be honest for the price of this webcam the colors look great it's very wide looks good for streaming i mean look at my eyes look here there's some smoothening going on let's add our game i'm really hyped for diablo gonna make it smaller put it in the corner if you're doing this kind of stream then this webcam is absolutely fine it's not the highest quality when you put it full screen but this is a great deal for specific scenarios 
Now, you can also use your phone as a webcam. And I'm gonna show you an example of the quality you can expect. But I want to install these LED panels first. Because that will give you a more realistic image. Because I have to be honest here. Once I've installed these LED panels, I'm going to turn off my studio lights. And the image is probably not gonna look as good anymore. Now, we might be surprised. And so, these lights are pretty straightforward. But they are an amazing budget kit. And the biggest reason for that is that they come with two lights. Because usually what happens with cheaper lights in general is that you put it on one side and it doesn't really produce enough light and you have to position them pretty close in order to have enough light however what that does since these lights aren't very well diffused is it's gonna create a very harsh spot on your forehead and since we have two of them we can put them a bit further away the light coming to our face is gonna be very evenly spread and it should look decent there's also a bunch of color options so you could use one of them in your setup and then aim the other one with a blue filter for example on the wall in order to create some ambient color all right now a big advantage of these lights is that you connect them to your pc through usb if they're not high enough you can lengthen the stand now you can see a grip here and that's because this is actually a selfie stick with a foot connected to it so we're gonna route the cable all the way to the pc i'm gonna turn this light on you can also regulate the brightness so we're gonna put it to the maximum oh that's pretty bright turn on the other one as well now i want to show you <laughs> that's gonna have to adjust i want to show you what it looks like without any other lights on however i do not recommend that so as you can see the auto exposure isn't working so i am gonna fix that for now move this aside configure video Okay, now this issue does seem unfixable. However, what does fix it is simply turning on your room lights. And the reason that it works is that the webcam was automatically changing the brightness and the exposure. However, since the background was completely dark and I was very bright, it had trouble choosing the right brightness. However, the only thing you need to do is simply turning on your room light. And as you can see, this is the effect with one of my lights. I told you before, a lot of cheaper webcams have problems with one harsh light. However, if I turn on the other one, and I move a bit, it's going to average everything out. It's gonna take a while maybe, but it's eventually gonna do it. Ah, uh, there we go. The auto exposure in cheap webcams is just very crappy. And when one side was very bright and the other one not that much, it didn't really know what to do. So I guess you can call it experience, but that's why I bought two LED panels to shine on your face. All right, now the numpad is really exciting because not a lot of people know about this. But when you're live streaming, you want a lot of control over different stuff. And obviously, an Elgato Stream Deck is the pinnacle of stream control. However, it's also the pinnacle of wasting money in a cheap setup because this thing costs more than a whole streaming setup together and you can do a lot of stuff with just keyboard buttons however the problem you have is that there's not that many keys that you can assign to something because a lot of the stuff is being used by windows or being used in game you also can't really use this numpad because either it interferes with these numbers or it's gonna do all sorts of weird stuff in windows if you press them so what i want to show you is a video by a creator called nutty and look at this i'm gonna sort by popular this video right here is what i'm talking about it's a video on turning a numpad into a stream deck and this video teaches you how to use this program which is called hid macros this is a program that lets you turn these buttons here into macro buttons buttons that won't interfere with your keyboard and this video is amazing because it also teaches you noobs commander and that's advanced obs studio control software you will basically have this here as your complete stream control and while you're gaming or while you're talking to your audience you will be able to control the whole stream with these buttons muting your mic hiding <laughs> your webcam switching your scene disabling a certain source yeah. i will link to this video in the description now as promised i was gonna show you how to use your phone as a webcam by the way don't worry we're gonna check out the microphones in a second and take a look at the screen this is just my front camera i'm gonna change it to the other side now this is happening completely wireless you just install an application for android you can install droid cam for ios what i'm using is epocam epocam is from elgato the company that makes the stream deck they have a free version and the paid version that's eight dollars i'm using the free version right now and i'm gonna turn my camera i'm gonna turn it sideways i know i have an iphone 12 pro max so the camera is great however this proves that the connection is amazing this is completely wireless there's pretty much no delay and i mean look at this quality this is actually amazing you can even use a bunch of filters so <laughs> if you want to fool your viewers oops you gotta find the right position but if you want to fool them and say that you're bald you can absolutely do that maybe this should be the thumbnail <laughs> 
Now, as you can see on top, there's two applications. I was using the free one right now. I'm gonna launch the Pro and if their software is opened, it immediately connects. I didn't have to do anything. So I think this will be a great comparison. Definitely less noise. My editor will put both side by side. Now I think the free version is 720p. This is 1080p. With this, I can also use my ultra wide camera. So this is definitely crazy for a streaming setup. Look at this. That's so cool. So as you can see on the bottom, 1080p, 60fps. I didn't even touch these settings. Absolutely amazing stuff and in my previous webcam comparison video i did use an iphone i think it was an iphone 5 and the webcam quality that produced was also great so if you are willing to use your current phone as a webcam that's absolutely possible now i'm not gonna spend money on a webcam stand so what i would do is put one of your boxes on the side and i put your phone on top of it and let it lean against something and then that way it's set up you can just stream you have the webcam over there you could position it just above your monitor i'm gonna take this off here because this box is empty and it wasn't sturdy now we have two microphones apparently it's the white version of the fi and ampli game so if you have a clean white rgb setup then you can get a white version and both microphones are from the same brand fi fine as you saw while i was buying everything i didn't have to buy all the stuff because i had some laying around this is an extremely popular mic and it also doesn't feel cheap for a 30 dollar microphone you might expect that it feels like plastic and it feels hollow but nothing like that this mic is much heavier than this one though again from the same brand but in my last microphone comparison video i did test this one and it sounded amazing everyone loved it so i want to compare this fan favorite to this one they are both around the same price this one comes with the exact same stand by the way i feel like the ampli game is a more recent mic now it's time for the final test i have both mics here i had to take my black fi fine ampli game because the white one apparently had some issue i think it's broken to be fair quite a lot of stuff gets thrown around the studio but as i mentioned while buying all the stuff if you give up the webcam and use your phone or if you go over the $100 budget, you can afford a microphone arm. And I'm gonna show you in a second that it makes a huge difference. So for around $18, you can get a microphone arm like this. It has a small stand that clamps to your desk. You just shove it in. I'm gonna clamp it on the desk over here. Let's tighten it. And then it just comes over here and you can connect your microphone over here. Now I'm gonna put it aside for a second. I wanna show you a fair comparison. Now, before anything else, what you hear right now is a microphone of the e 960. Now I'm gonna go in my settings and right now noise suppression should be applied and it should sound a bit better however i think we better test these mics out so what you hear right now is the fifine k669b so this is one of the most popular ones i've shown it over 30,000 reviews it's been around for a very long time and i'm gonna switch to the other one so what you hear right now is the fifine ampli game we still have to test them on a microphone arm i'm gonna listen to them first now i just listened to them pretty weird they sound exactly the same i'm not sure if you think so as well maybe the ampli game is just the k669b but then with our RGB and like a bit more modern by the way you can mute this microphone the rgb turns off you can unmute it you cannot change the effect so keep that in mind now the final test closer to your mouth it will be a big difference okay so i'm gonna take this ampli game and i'm gonna move it closer to my mouth and you will hear that it will sound much warmer when it's right here so this is close and then this is far and i'm gonna do the same thing with the fifine k669b this one doesn't have a pop filter so you should speak next to it you could also speak over it but if you speak into it the sound will be very harsh so this is close this is far and this is the ampli game close compared to the k669b close okay so they sound very similar i think the ampli game sounds a bit more warm it also definitely looks better on stream it has rgb so i think this one is the winner for now i will go over this whole gaming setup in one of my next videos my partnership with vidiq is also still active by the way so if you want to try it for 30 days for one dollar my personal promo page is still linked in the description it's an ai youtube tool that i use myself to do keyword research you get ai video ideas of stuff that's underrepresented on youtube so that you can make that video and you can get clicks actually this video was recommended by the ai chatbot it recommended me to remake the video that i made a year ago which was the hundred dollar setup so this video was made thanks to vidiq and with my page you can try it for 30 days for one dollar seriously i'm not saying this because it's a partnership it's a great tool if you want to grow on youtube the keyword research is amazing it teaches you a lot about what people are searching so you should definitely try it if you want to grow now thanks a lot for watching this video that one might be interesting to you that is if the youtube algorithm knows you well and i hope i will see you in one of my next videos have a nice day